is Black History Month and my first black label of the month, Flow by Marcus Johnson. Let's get it. Welcome to another episode of Wine Sale of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. It is Wine Still of the Month. Yes, and we got a nice little rosé here. Again, it is Black History Month. Every Black History Month, every year, um, I like to highlight black uh, labels, black winemakers, um, black folks who own labels of wine. And so this month, uh, we're starting off with Marcus Johnson. Normally, I do them on all win Wine Wednesdays. Uh, this time, I'm going to mix it up. Um, I'm going to do Wine Wednesday one week, and I'll do like a Wine Still of the Week another week, and then Wine Wednesday. It just depends. So you got to kind of check out all my episodes to figure out who's going to be the highlighted black uh, wine for that week. Uh, this is why still of the week. So we have one that's going to be below twenty dollars. That's punching above its weight glass, hopefully. So we're looking. I, I can't wait to uh, dive into this and break it down. Uh, hope everybody's having a wonderful week. I hope everything's a perfect episode to get you into the weekend. And you know it is Super Bowl weekend, and my Niners are playing, and I'm super excited. Uh, go Niners! Let's get it. And um, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Uh, today, we're again, we're talking about Flow 2019. This is Rosé out of California. Uh, this is by Marcus Johnson, the uh, internationally acclaimed jazz pianist, Marcus Johnson. I met him a bunch of times. He's an amazing human being, and his wines are solid. Not just solid. They're good, actually. They're delicious. So um, let's see if this one holds up like the other ones have in the past when I've reviewed it. This is his rosé, and this is his rosé of Barbera and Grenache. So it's a blend of the two. Barbera being a northern Italy, Italian uh, Piemonte grape, and Grenache being um, Rhone Valley um, red grape um, that in out of, out of uh, France. So nice, nice little mashup of two worlds of uh, like high-level red grapes together. And expressing rosé out of that. I can't wait to get into this. So let's get into it. On the nose. I immediately get strawberry and nice beautiful nectarines kind of dancing on my in my nose. I'm getting like a bit of uh, candy peach. And also a little bit of like uh, a bit of Bing cherry here too. There's a creaminess about this. Like a... Um, I don't know how else to put it, like a, you know, like, uh, have you ever had strawberries and cream? Like, kind of like a creaminess here that's uh, becoming, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice kind of like middle ground between the fruits here and also some of the, uh, yeah, those stone fruits and some of the, like, the, the vine fruits, stuff like that. It's really interesting. There's also something floral here. I'm getting kind of like a lilac thing, which is really cool. Or maybe a secondary or something salty. Let's go ahead and taste it and see if everything's translating to the palate. Everything's translating to the palate. This is really good. Um, it expresses as dry, but I think there's a little resid here. Doesn't matter. This is delicious, uh, in my opinion. This is very well balanced. Very, very well balanced. Um, great acid here. I'm catching it here. Uh, throughout, like as as all this less fruit goes down, I'm still my mouth watering like crazy. Um, I would say this is like um, border in between medium and medium plus on out on acid. Uh, but because of the great fruit here uh, and the roundness of its approach, um, you don't even notice that your mouth is watering so much, uh, which I which I dig. Um, that's a ni that's a nice balanced counterweight to uh, the fruit and the lushness up front. It does definitely approach with the fruit. Let's go ahead and taste a little bit more. Yeah, that kind of creme and strawberries, like um, strawberries and cream along with um, nectarines up front. As it gets into the mid palate, it gets more on kind of like a, um, you still get that fruit, uh, but there is like a little bit of like a green, um, like a little baseline of green herbs right there in the third quarter. Um, it's there and it's gone. Um, but it's really, it's, it's interesting. It does add a little bit more complexity to this. Uh, the stone peach that I'm getting here is more on the uh, white peach side. 
uh, and I'm catching that also throughout the pod, kind of popping in and popping out. I dig it, man. This is really, really good juice. I would say this is kind of like on the medium plus side for rosé. But all in all, this is a delicious bottle of rosé. I highly recommend this wine, guys. I dig it. Um, if I am scoring this wine, uh, Wine Still of the Week will be right back. So this is a, it's a vibe cookbook that we just published from Armando Tam, Chef Armando Tam. And we're talking about beef steak on this recipe. It's one of my favorites in the whole book. Uh, we are really enjoying what this is doing, him with his food, uh, Jayton Gunter with the wine pairings. Go check it out at grapesandsand.com. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. Um, I'm scoring this at um, 90. I'm going to give this 90 points. This is really good. Uh, 90 points on this. On top of that... Um, so it has a little age. So rosé normally you 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 want to keep it really like young. I like this age. This is actually pretty good age. It's showing way. It's showing some complexity here. Uh, this is 2019, by the way. Um, the steel here is I got this over at um, Total Wines for ten dollars and ninety nine cents. So still under that twenty dollar uh, range, but it's uh, punching above its weight class. This is yeah, guys. Get get a bottle of this. Get a couple bottles of this. This will be your. Uh, this will be your springtime uh, new love love affair for for a rosé. And then this is going to be a really, really good look in the springtime. Um, I look to be buying some uh, over at Total Wines, my local Total Wines. Uh, but other than that, guys, um, I got a good question of the day. I don't think I've ever asked this. What is the greatest rosé you've ever tasted? What's the label? Please put it in the comment section. I really, want, I really, really want to know. Uh, cause if it's something I haven't tasted, I'm gonna grab it. Cause I'm I'm looking forward to spring this sum or this time this, this summer. <laughs> I'm looking to the upcoming spring, uh, especially with having my son. I can't wait to show him how I do it in spring. I love springtime and summertime. I'm like at the beach like almost every day, <laughs> um, at least a little bit. And so now that we're, uh, I'm gonna have some time with him a lot throughout this throughout this next few months. Um, I'm definitely gonna be trying to take him to the beach. So I'm gonna have some rose on the beach. So please um, let me know what's your favorite rosé of all time and put the label, uh, the name of the label in the comment section. Other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful week. Again, enjoy this weekend. Go Niners. And until next time, guys, cheers.